Good morning. I didn't know you were coming today. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. I called you yesterday to tell you I was coming to your workshop today. Oh, you're right. Sorry, I forgot it. But your car is not ready. Maybe for tomorrow. Oh, I see. I needed to go to work. Oh, is this my car? You're repairing it now? Yes, I'm checking the engine. It doesn't look good, I must say. I'm sorry. What? What are you talking about? I just came to get you to change the oil in my car. You didn't tell me anything about the engine. The car is almost new. I bought it last year. Yes, I know, but it usually happens. It seems like you've pushed the engine too hard. Have you driven your car to very distant places? It can damage your car when you drive a lot. No, I mean, I always use it to go to work, and sometimes I travel to a different city, but... It's only once or two times a year, you know? I didn't know my car had an engine problem. Well, it's not a serious problem, sir. Don't worry, we can fix it for only $500. But that's a lot of money. Is it necessary to do it? I mean, my car was okay before I brought it here. And happily, you brought it on time. Otherwise, you would have had an even more serious problem. This problem normally happens in this type of cars. It is very common, believe me. Since you are one of our favorite customers, we could charge you only $300 for the engine tune-up. Favorite customer? But it is the first time I come to this place. <laughs> yes, I know, but all our customers are very important. You are important for us. I just want to help you. Now, you can take your car to other places, but they will tell you the same thing. Yeah, alright. I didn't want to spend more money, but if it's necessary... You're taking the right decision. You know it's important for your car. You look like an experienced driver. I am not an experienced driver. It's my first car. I mean, I just got my driver's license last year. As I told you before, I bought this car, my first car, last year. I don't know much about it. Oh, then it's your first car, and you don't know anything about cars. Don't worry. That's why I'm here. I will help you repair your car. Don't worry. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have checked your car in detail and found the problem with the air conditioning. There seems to be a problem with the air distribution. This means the, the air doesn't circulate correctly. Oh, that's a pity. I always use the air conditioning, since it's very sunny. I know, that's why it's important to fix it. I am an expert in modern automotive equipment. And I can tell you that if you don't fix this problem now, you could have more problems later. Really? But 
I used it normally. I mean, can I use it like that or it need to be fixed? As I told you, you can use it, but in some months, you will have problems with the air conditioning. Yeah, I see. All right, and how much money will that cost? Is it expensive? No, of course not. I can fix it for only $100. It will be ready for tomorrow. $100? But I already spent more than $300 in repairs. Um, no, I think I won't do it. I mean, that's not very important now. Don't fix it, please. All right, but remember, you could have serious problems after some months. You could spend more than $500 when the air conditioner explodes. What? Explodes? Is it that serious? Oh, God, I don't want it to explode. I know, nobody wants it. Look, I like you, so I will give you a special discount, okay? It will only cost $75. I can repair your air conditioning for that price. Really? Oh, thank you. You are a good mechanic and a great professional. Thank you very much. Well, then I suppose I will come tomorrow for my car. What time can I come tomorrow, please? Mmm, tomorrow. Okay, but there is something else I have to tell you. It seems that one of the tires has a problem. It must be changed as soon as possible. Oh no, no more problems. What happens to the tire now? What's the problem? Well, it seems that the tire is very worn and it's dangerous to drive like that. I mean, you could drive it some miles, but eventually you could have an accident. That sounds dangerous, but the tire is new. I mean, it doesn't even have one year. I know, but it seems that the quality of this tire is not the best, my friend. I know that. But don't worry. I can change that tire for one I have on the back that is in good condition. It will only cost $150. Remember, a new one can cost $400. $400? No, I prefer to spend only $550. All right, let's do it. You are very intelligent. Finally, we have to install a coating on your car. It is necessary. It is an undercoating. It will help you to protect your car from accidents. What do you say? Undercoating? I don't know. How much does that cost? Is it cheap? Yes, it is. It only costs $500. But it is totally necessary. 500? Wow, I suppose I will have to use my savings, but all right, let's do it. You have taken the best decision. All right then, tomorrow in the afternoon. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay, but my father is a mechanic too. In fact, I will tell him to come and pay. Your father is a mechanic? And why didn't you take your car 
with him then? Because his worship is in other city, but he's coming tomorrow. He will come here. He was also in the army. He was a soldier and he has a gun. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. What? Wait, you didn't tell me that. Wait a minute. Oh God, what will I do? I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.